guys but the but the reason that i wanted to the reason why today ig live is important is because i want to change the mental the mental mindset of education we've man there's not many I, i'm gonna tell you this there's not many real educators out there guys i i i know babe, babe maybe a handful at the most and I'm just, and that's stretching in education. In my opinion, we are the only real educators out there that know what the fuck they're doing. You notice this. I can tell you how, first of all, we don't alert shit. We actually teach you to become self-sufficient. And that's a really bad model for business to make money for the company. Why would I teach you a skill so that you can leave me? <laughs> it's stupid, right? As a company, I want you to be addicted like a drug. If I was a crack dealer, why am I selling you a subscription to uh, to a fucking rehab center? I don't want you to go to rehab. I want you to fucking keep buying crack from me. So we already screwed up. We screwed up by teaching you how to trade. There's nobody else that will teach you how to properly trade for all multimillionaire traders, guys. I'm telling you right now, man. You think those other guys teach you? They're pumping their own playbook. And you think those guys are gurus? I am their guru's guru. I'm their mentor's mentor, man. I've been around. I taught most of these guys. I'm not going to say who. It doesn't matter who the hell it is. But it's very obvious. They're not there to educate you. They are there to make money. They're there to pump their playbook for you. And it's completely fine, guys. Those rooms are designed to, for sheep. They're designed. So what, what they do is this, man. They have secret plays. It's all low float. They tell each other, then they pump into their room. Nothing wrong with that because you know what, man? The people that subscribe to that know that. So don't pretend that they are educators when they're not. So the mindset is already fucked. So you have these pump and dump guys pretending to be educators, but they're not. Name an educator. I don't think there's any fucking. Oh yeah, I'm not the Ron Jeremy of trading. What the fuck? He just got. A, he just got indicted, motherfucker. <laughs> he got indicted for sexual assault. I think you guys are assaulting me. I'm no Ron Jeremy, guys. Tim Sykes, why would you even ask about other educators when you're just when you listen to me? It's just fucking weird, right, guys? Hey, so let's say you go to a Nike. Nike uh, shoe convention, you're asking, hey, how Adidas shoe? I like you. What, what do you want me to say, bro? <laughs> Tim Sykes is my friend, of course, but you know, you have to learn how to ask questions properly. That, that's the first thing. The first thing is you're already fucking screwed up because you want to join these services, but you're like, I don't trust it, but I trust Bao. So I'm going to go ask Bao, what do you think? Well, fuck you. Why the fuck are you asking me so that you can join other people? I, I, you, know, just, you just get the fuck out, dude. You just get the fuck out right now dude um because i'm trying to change the mindset okay it's very simple man look at what we do when we trade we post our charts we teach her the process we trade the same stocks that we put the watch list on and alex and tom's watch list has been i think almost a hundred percent this month hundred percent okay but the thing is weird because because most of these other rooms they pretend to be educators but they want you to chase their plays Oh, I bought this stock here. I made so much money. Look at my big ass PL. But never, don't chase, don't chase. Yeah, I, I don't recommend you following me. But then when they win, bam, yeah. Look how much money I made. You could make the same money if you fucking follow me. Join me now. Follow me. I'm going to live stream on YouTube. Think about that, man. You've been conditioned to be a fucking sheep all your life. You join these services. And that's the, that's the problem. Most of these services. Most, I say 90 something percent are all sheep rooms. They don't teach shit. First of all, the guru will never make money. First of all, you have to ask yourself, does your mentor, can he make money trading by himself without a room full of sheep? That's the first question you should ask yourself. Can my mentor trade and make money without me having to buy his stock? All these rooms, most of these guys can't trade worth shit. If they can trade, why are they pumping their positions? Because they want to make more money? We, 
I mean, shit, dude. You, you don't see me and Alex pumping our positions, right? So that's the first clue, guys. The first clue is change your mindset of education. That's not education. I'll give a great analogy we always talk about, okay? Today, there's so many members are joining into MIC, new guys. And they've been so conditioned to just chase everything that we post. We don't even posting. We, we just post the watch list. Like, okay, like today, ALF, ALF. We post where we want to get in and get out, but it's like way up, right? But these most of the guys are, are like anticipating. So they're early. So they're losing because they started way early pre-market. I didn't even short this stuff until like the market opened, right? When it started pe- going past $8. So what they did was they, they've been conditioned. They've been conditioned to think that they are going to front run the educators because the educators are the pumpers. But we don't pump. And so they're losing money. And so when, when I'm out of the trade, I show my chart. They're like, what the fuck? Bow. So I'm, I got literally like 10 DMs asking me what they did wrong. First of all, ALF is a low float. If a stock is a low float, you do not hammer it on the low. Because anybody can buy up the float, pretend to walk it down and trap you. That's how it works. And so they're telling me, but I don't want to miss the trade. I miss P-A-L-T. I miss S-N-O-A. That's the problem, guys. So I, I, this, is, this is the takeaway that you guys should understand. Okay, guys? This is a huge takeaway. There are two ways to trade. Maybe, maybe more, but, but, but these are the two kinds of people, right? The first person never wants to miss a trade. They chase, they chase, they want to be in the action, everything. Because they get really mad. Oh my God, I missed this stock. I'm so mad. I miss, I miss. I'm going to make it up the next one. I don't want to miss any stocks. So they want to be in every single play and hope it averages out. But then there's the, there's the smart way, okay? Which is the MIC way. We want to not be stressed. I'd rather miss a play. I'd rather miss a play than to be in too early. Because when I'm in, there is a huge 90 something percent chance I will make money. And if I miss this, so what, man? I miss DBGI today. I miss SNOA. The reason they're too low float, the, the locates were too expensive. So I said, you know what? I'm not going to mess with it. I'm not going to mess with it. It's down too much when I got up. I don't want to chase and lose. So what I did was I did not touch it. I did not trade it. I did not trade DBGI. Of course, I had FOMO when it started going down. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, God, I should have done it, but I did not. But you know what? You know what the worst case for missing a trade is? You make no money. You make no money. So I didn't make those money, but I made money on ALF because I was patient and I didn't lose money. I made stress free money every day this week. You know, it's just, it, that's, that's the thing that you got to get into your head. You have to be okay with missing the trade. This is not what the, the pumper, the fake educators tell you because the fake educators are the one pumping the plays. They want you to be in all their plays. Without you, those plays can never go up. You think you can move a low float? You cannot move a low float, guys, without sheep. Who the hell are you? You can pump all day long on Twitter. No one's gonna listen to you if you have five followers, right? But if I fucking post, you, you better be sure I can pump all these low floats myself. So that's the thing, guys. You have to be okay with missing the trade, okay? And I wanna tell you how, when you join these educational services, this is what you should do. They want you to start banging on the keyboard right away and following all their trades. Because, you're, because they're like, damn, I made hella money on this. You see, guys, you should have came with me. I'm hella good. I made this much money yesterday. I made this much money. They're trying to fucking get you to follow their picks. But this is the right way for education, guys. Imagine you are a doctor or a lawyer. Because this is what day training is, pretty much. This is a top of the food chain profession if you do it right. Who do you think makes the most money? It's the Wall Street guys, right, guys? It's the Wall Street guys. The Wall Street guys make a lot of fucking money if you do it right. Alex works one hour a week training the MIC process. It's up $2.6 million after fees this year. Before fees, probably $3 million, okay? Working one hour. I don't want to hate bragging on that. The thing is, maybe we should start talking more about that, Alex, because these other guys are selling P&Ls and stuff, but we'll talk about that later. But, but the key is this, guys. The key is Alex didn't just wake up one day and become... A successful trader it took Alex 
four years to become an overnight success. Think about this. <laughs> it's funny. It took me like 10 years to become an overnight success. You know, that's, a, that's the line I was telling people. You know, it's just not overnight. So when you join, when you join MIC or an education service, don't expect to make money like the first day you join. That's not the point. The point is to educate yourself. Okay? When you, when you are a doctor and you go to medical school, you're not fucking giving Kim Kardashian a booth job right away, right? Or a BBL, a butt lift, right? You're actually going through five, seven, eight years of education, internship, apprenticeship, practice, paper trading on fake dead cadavers, uh, giving fucking pigs a facelift, you know, things like that, guys. You're not just fucking day one or week one of med school giving fucking Kim Kardashian a fucking butt job, right? Same thing with a lawyer. I always tell you this. It's like the week one of a lawyer, you're not defending O.J. Simpson. <laughs> you know what fuck, dude? It's like you got to go through four years. Four years in internship and fake cases and all that. But you expect to join and learn trading in one hour. Start banging on the keyboard. It's like when, the, like when you join. Where's Lambo? Where's Lambo? So, change the way you think. If you, I guarantee you this, guys. If you have the discipline, I can teach anybody to become a good trader. Our process works. The reason people lose is because they are not disciplined. Okay, you are have lose on ALF this morning. First of all, it's low float. Second of all, dude, it's low flow. The <laughs> market's even opened yet, and you're already banging at the bottom, you're chasing, and you're and then when it starts breaking VWAP, you're still at, dude, it's the front side of the move. You have to learn how to trade the front side. Once the top is set, then you can trade it, right? So I'll give you a biggest lesson on short trading. Okay? Here's a big lesson. The easiest to trade, the easiest way to trade a short sell on the stock is to wait for the top to be set and then you short the bounce okay an easier way is a low hanging fruit meaning a stock is broken already once a stock is broken it's very hard for that stock to bounce unless unless it's a low float because with low floats i myself can buy fucking 100,000 shares and, and squeeze everybody this is why we have a concept called the zombie the zombie hour rules people have been Dude, people are talking about that now. They're calling it different things. But the zombie is the equalizer in this holding all day bullshit. You can, it's very scary nowadays to hold all day on a low float. Because, dude, algos can come in and fuck you. Because they, they know. They, 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 they know who's in the short. They, they, they have algos. They, they figure it out, dude. And so, trading has changed dramatically since it was three, four years ago. You know, don't blame me, man. I'm not the reason why. A lot of people blame me because like, oh, wow, you popularized short selling. So now people are getting trapped. I mean, dude, <laughs> if something works too well, of course, everybody will start doing it. And then everybody's, and it'll change, right, guys? It's called being too fucking, uh, too crowded. Imagine if Pokemon cards making money. Oh, they did, right? And so everybody got into Pokemon cards. Now it's kind of died out. If everybody got so now everyone's getting to NFTs. The moment my mom is gonna buy an NFT, I'm a fucking ape, I know it's over. I'm gonna short the NFTs. If my mom comes home and says, "Bow, I just bought us a fucking ape NFT," I'm like, oh, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Me and my 50 grandmas pulled in our fucking life savings to buy a fucking NFT of an ape. <laughs> that's that's when you realize, like, dude, there's something wrong. Same thing with remember when crypto went all the way up and down, when. When my Uber driver, all they talked about was buying fucking Bitcoin. And they're like, dude, I'm the only one that's not in Bitcoin. And then it started to tank. Same thing with the real estate. The mortgage crisis, man. The, the, dude, my, dude, everybody had like five houses, zero down, five houses, fake income. I, like, the person that cleans my house had more houses than I did. I'm like, what the fuck? My maid had more houses than I did back then. That's because that was a traditional model. I had real money and equity in the house. I wasn't using fake income. I wasn't over leveraging. <clears throat> so that's the same thing, guys. When everything is popularized, it dies. So right now, right now, pumping is popularized. Pumping. Everyone's in on CEI. Everyone's waiting for the next pick. 
The guy that picks CEI has a huge following, huge, like half a million plus. His room has a huge following. He posts anything that will go up, anything. So the next one, everybody's going to get in. And you know what happens when everybody gets in? It's not going to work as well. So CEI, no one believed it. See, it was a piece of shit, and it went to 350. People did not believe in it. That's why it went up. But now it was like, holy shit, I can't wait for your next pick. I'm going to get out of CEI with all my gains and go all in and even buy more and leverage. This is why the perfect time to learn how to short sell, guys. Perfect time. Because you know what, man? These, these pump rooms are all over. Because the meme stock guys, the meme stock guys create this whole new environment where group buying group buying has pushed these stocks up working as a team this is i don't know the legalities of it but i don't i'm not an sec guy i don't give a damn all i know is you know what man the meme stocks drove this whole industry which produced all these discord free chat room pumps and that's why these stocks like ci are up but you, the next one and i'm telling you it may fucking fail so, you know what the easiest trade is? Wait for the stop to happen, then you short. The problem with going long is this, guys. I'm not going to bash longs. Longs have an infinite, infinite fucking reward. You buy a stock for 50 cents, you can sell for three bucks. That's huge. That's why people love the long. But the problem is, I don't know where the top is. How can I fucking start buying at $1 when someone bought at 50 cents? So I, personally, I cannot do that. So the market's going to shift now. It used to be the buy the fucking dip market. That's where the market went up for 12 straight years. Eventually, it's going to be a short, short the pop. It goes from buy the dip kind of market, which we've been in for 12 years, to sell the pop market when the bear market comes. Okay? And the reason I like shorting is because I can wake up and be late and still make money on the way down. Because I know the top already. But when you're along, you're, you're I'm, I, I, I would be so scared to keep that buying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but anyways, guys, there's many ways to trade. When the market is going up, I long. I created the first bounce. I'm the guy that created it. <laughs> you know? Uh, so we have long systems. We have swing systems. We have option systems. So basically, to realize that do not be too comfortable. What works today may not work tomorrow. Expand your playbook. During this time, when you are cleaning up on the long side, or when things are bored and there's no setups, learn something new. If you want to be a better short seller, you need to learn how to go long a stock, which I do. If you want to be a good long bias trader, learning how to short, it will only help you because then you'll know where to sell your longs. And so that's why MIC is great because we have a combination of longs and shorts as well as swing traders. So when I and me and Alex start to lean in and start to short a stock, it means that, hey, that's a, maybe that's an area of resistance that you should take some profits off if you're long. These are the things that when you join, you need to observe. Take at least a few weeks, guys, to observe. Don't just start banging buttons. It's like, it's like learning how to play golf. You have to fucking start practicing paper trade. Even NFL guys, they have what's called fucking camp. They have practice. They practice all week. They paper trade games all week. They practice all week to play that one game on Sunday. Why are you trying to play Sunday every day of the week? Practice, practice, practice. And then when you're ready, play that one game of the week. Same thing with waiting for your trades. Wait for the plan. Do not have FOMO. You, ha you don't need many trades a day to make your, your paycheck, guys. $200 a day is $50,000 a year. That is sick supplemental income. But I see most of you guys just slamming buttons and asking me what I did wrong. You're, you're doing wrong because you don't know what you're doing yet and you are trying to operate on a human being? No wonder you're, you're killing people. You're killing your own accounts. Your account, imagine your account as your own body. Would you, would you do surgery on your own body? Unless you know what the fuck you're doing? Would you operate on your eyeball? But you're willing to fucking trade and lose all your money? You don't know what you're doing, right guys? So change your mindset of education, okay? 
know why these rooms are there and if you happen to join a room like that be aware of what their their mo is what their motive is okay are they there to educate or are they to enrich their own pockets there's nothing wrong with a pump room i love these pump rooms i'm in the i'm in most of the pump rooms but i need to know why stock moves if i know why stock moves i can better assess if it's a short or a long if it's a natural organic play or it's a forced play that will go down let me tie my shoelace Whew. any questions guys i want to stop there I, I talked a lot any questions guys i want to bring someone on you guys want to bring someone on anybody that wants to uh come on raise your hand man doesn't matter if you're you're in the fan club or the troll club i'd rather bring a troll club on too which country is this if you don't know what country i am in oh man you got, you got some more problems than i think you want trade signals oh i forgot to mention okay we give up guys mic cares too much about your education we want you to be as a self-sufficient trader without being pumped to but we're, we're, we're getting sick of that dude i'm sick of working 10 times as hard and, and eating crumbs because we care too much education sucks i'd rather be in the making money business now okay so eventually what guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna fucking i'm gonna tease you this this is coming very soon we're, we're getting rid of the fucking monthly and we're and we're, we're we're we are we are turning we're gonna create another section of mic for pumpers I'm gonna start pumping to you. You want that fucking shit? I'm gonna start pumping to you. And then when you lose all your fucking money, you're gonna move over to the real MIC. Okay? So we're gonna have the MIC pumper uh, um, service because people love being pumped too. So I'm gonna start doing that. We are gonna create a get rich quick. You want to play? I'm gonna give you fucking alerts. I'm gonna tell you when I short. I'm gonna tell you when I go long. You pay for it. There's no mentorship, nothing. It's just like a, just like these pump rooms. And you know what? Some people will make a lot of money. Most people will lose. And when you lose, you're like, oh my God, Bao, you're right. I'm going to start learning the right way from MSC. So I'm going to, why am I, why am I working too hard? Why not fucking create a better pump room than these other pumpers? I'm going to create a, the best fucking pump room. Me and Alex are going to create the best fucking pump room out there, guys. We're going to kill all these other pumpers. But you know what? Most will lose, of course, because it's a pump. If they lose, we're going to educate them on the back end. How, how you guys like that? So, you pumpers, get ready. <laughs> you think we won't do it, but fuck, dude. Shit, shit changes. We're going to create a different fucking service to pump to you guys. And then, you know, the, the guys at MSC going to love it because they're going to make hell of money because they've already been educated. So now they're going to take advantage of all the weak newbies in the pump room. And that's what the guys in the pump room are. They are sheep. They are fodder. You know what a fodder is? Father, fodder. F O D D E R. It's the it sucks, but it's like imagine you're in a war. That's the first wave they sent out. You're the guy on the fucking. You're running on the battlefield, getting killed. <laughs> but the generals and the horse in the back, they send out the father first and fucking die. Father's like the fluffer. You fluff the girl before the before the porn guy fuck, uh, fucks. <laughs> Get the girl ready so that the real guy comes and fucks her. Ah. <sighs> uh. Anybody want to get on, guys? Am I missing anything, Alex? I hope I educate you guys a lot. Um, I do these IG lives, guys, to educate. But I do it in a different way than these other people. People are people complaining, like, I don't educate enough anymore on IG live. I'm like, guys, guys. You know what, man? If all you want to learn is technical shit, fucking pay $99 and join. We have YouTube. We have everything. If you're cheap ass, and like, don't complain about what I teach you, right? I mean, it's free. Join for 99 bucks. Who gives a fuck? Raise your hand, guys. Just do a little hand. Tell me uh, why you want to... So how about this? I'm going to pick one person on. And who knows, man? That one person might get some free swag or free Wagyu. I don't know. I want to know why, why you want to come on so I can pick someone. Hey, what's all these Arabic words? Guys, what's all these Arabic words? Okay, can someone translate the Arabic? Guys, there's so many of these Arabic stuff. 
Can someone tell me what this Arabic? It's ninety nine dollars as a special right now. You go to myinvestingclub.com. It's on there, guys. Or you can text Tosh. Okay. It won't be ninety nine longer. We're getting rid of monthly very soon, guys. What day you're gonna wake up? Oh shit! I missed my opportunity to join. Why are they spamming? I'm, could be, I, I, I'm gonna uh, block them. Can you tell me what they're saying? <laughs> I'm gonna are, are doing Arabic. What, what are they saying? I'm, I'm gonna block all of them. Stop talking in Arabic, otherwise I wanna. Okay, I'm gonna block all of them then. Okay. What are they? Okay, Muhammad guy, good God. Any, anybody that talks in Arabic, I will block you. Thank you for telling me they're fucking scammers. It's just a couple guys. I'm blocking everybody. Okay, from now on, anybody, anybody that talks Arabic, I will block you. Thank you for telling me they're spam. Well, I, I don't know what the language is, but you guys told me it's spam, so I'm... There's no reason to be texting that stuff here because we're, ta we're, we're talking about stocks, guys. Okay, I'm, I'm going to block everybody. Hey, hey, I, I'm starting to block a bunch of stuff. So whoever is blocked, I will block you. Just, just, just type... And funny characters, I'll, I'll block you. I don't know that language, so. Um, okay, who wants to get on, guys? Just raise your hand. Do a little hand thing. We don't need to talk about politics. We don't need to talk about this. We're talking about stocks. Do you, I don't hate Arabic people. I'm going to block you, too. I just blocked the guy of Sinsa that says, Are you racist? Do you hate Arabic? No, I don't want pets. Spammers on my feed. All these guys are are bots. You know what a bot is? This is a good way for me to block everybody. Bots are fake algorithms that pretend to be humans talking. Okay. Fuck you. Is that me? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to block him too. <laughs> Anybody that says fuck you or starts to spam stuff, I'm blocking. I I'm having fun with this, guys. I'm just blocking everybody, so it's cool. All right, I'll bring someone on here. Bruce Wayne. Oops. Oh, I can't go live with Bruce Wayne. Let's see who else wants to come on, guys. <laughs> block yeah I'm blocking everybody Woo, here we go everybody that talks in block first ask questions later guys wow that's a lot of I think I'm blocking the live with this uh, bizzer trading bid zero trading Please don't ask where I live and all these weird ass questions, guys. <laughs> oh, there's hella bots here. Uh, we we may even start charging for IG Live soon if they have it. Even 99 cents a month, we'll get rid of the bots. So I am going to, uh, I, I suggest this to Alex, man. YouTube Live should be 99 cents a month. Even a little 99 cent a month will get rid of all of the trolls. Wow, well, there's a lot of bots in here. <laughs> okay, who wants to get on? I'm so sorry, man. A lot of these people don't even look like human human beings. Okay, bid zero trading, unable to join.
what are you guys talking about K-pop? I want to. Jeez, this, I don't even know if they're real. I think they're just bots. <laughs> this is a trading feed, guys. Uh, if you're not talking about trading, I will block you. This is good. I'm having fun getting rid of these blocks. What's your question? Val, can you answer my question, please? I have no idea what you asked. <laughs> There's a thousand messages here. Can you answer my question? I don't know your question, brother. Oh, they're saying a lot of boss to us. All right, I'm going to randomly. Who wants to come on, guys? Who would you say is a bad person day trading? I would tell you who's good for day trading us. Why would you care who, who is a bad for day trading, right, guys? You're on my feed. You're asking about other people. It just kind of makes no sense to me. Oh, here's another weirdo. Who's this Marie person? Is it a bot? There's a lot of bots here. Uh, guys want to know about Alf. We put, oh, he declined. Okay, so I want to block the person to decline. Marie, you're gout. Uh, if you want to know about Alf, I post my chart on it. I took the, the room. $99, guys. Why are brokers under PDT not giving per share structure fee to customers? I'm not a broker. I don't know why people are asking me broker questions. If you come complain, go. Because I want to make money, bro. They want to make money because guys under PDT is only trade 100 shares. So they want to make money. It's obvious. Come on, think. <laughs> Why do people do anything in life besides MIC to make money? We MIC is the only idiots out here that are trying to make money. I blocked uh, Marie already, so here's more people. Well, wow, they're sending a lot of bots. I'm having fun blocking, but who wants to get in, guys? Raise your hand. I can't even tell who's real anymore. So guys that are asking me about ATER or ALF, why are you not in MIC? Seriously, why are you not in MIC? Is it because you are from a foreign country, you can't afford it, or you're just cheap, or what? I would understand if you're from a foreign country and it's really expensive. That's the, that's the only reason I, I would perceive is a valid reason. So I'll answer all these questions. Just tell me why are you asking, but you're not in MIC. It's really cheap, 99 bucks. If you're in MIC, it's $99. So if you're in MIC, why are you asking these questions here? Ask me in MIC Slack. My G. Oh, we have a real person on. What's good, brother? What's your name? Where are you from? And all that good stuff, man. I finally found a non-bot. Uh, Austin, man, from Canada. You're from Canada? Yes, sir. What's your name? Austin. Austin, are you uh, are you a member? Or are you not a member? Are you a trader? What are you... No, I'm a member, man. Yeah, I'm just at the desk right now, man. I'm just in class, but I mean, you were a little bit more important. <laughs> are you in uh, Are you in college, high school? Yeah, yes, sir. You're going to college. What are you studying? Uh, business, major in okay, finance. Good. good, good. So you're in the beginning stages of uh, the um, um, of trading education, right? Most definitely. All right, man. So tell us how far have you gone? Any any questions? Any questions you want to know? Yeah, man. I mean, I've been following you guys for quite some time. So you guys are, you guys, I mean, I watch what you guys do. You guys are doing your thing. And uh, just, uh, I mean, I, I trade OTCs. I'm not too sure if you're familiar with it. You probably are, though, but that's kind of uh, uh, my sector. Cool, cool, cool. So how can we do it better, guys? Wait, what do you think? Because, uh, I mean, if you join, obviously you get, you get a lot more, but I want to also help the people that, you know, are like yourself where you can't afford it yet, right? So what can we do that's better? Is it $99 still too expensive? For a monthly subscription, I would say a little bit, yeah. Just for Nine, being a student. $99? I mean, for the reward you guys, uh, I mean, sure. I mean, obviously not really, but, you know. So let me ask you, did, did, initial did, you go, did you go out with your friends to eat and drink and party? Most definitely, of course. 
How much you spend when you go out? Probably, probably about a hundred bucks, hundred fifty. Yeah, exactly. You see, if you don't go out one time, you get a membership, right? Yeah, most definitely. Exactly, man. That's what I want to tell you. It's like if it's important enough to you, my friend, you yeah. would not go out for one day, one week. If you do not go out for one week, you right there have your ninety-nine dollar education, right? Yeah. So definitely do that, brother. I mean, yeah, I. If you do, if you do that, man, I, I guarantee you, man, you, you will. I mean, dude, you know, right now you may, it may not be your priority. So that's yeah. why I keep telling people, I don't want to force anybody to join. If I make it cheap, no one's gonna, no one's gonna value it because people will go, yeah. oh, it's free. It's no, like no. going to, right? Yeah. But if you pay for it, you're like shit. It means I really want to do it. So the the, the ninety nine dollars is not not necessary for me to make money. We don't make fucking any money off that shit. You know, we pay out more people than we we make. So, what do you recommend? The, what do you recommend for like sorting out of Canada for a platform base? We uh, I'm working with a short seller uh, company now for Canada soon. So you're gonna be in luck, guys. So it's coming. Thanks, All right, brother. Appreciate it. Hey, thanks, man, for coming on, telling us the truth. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. All right, brother. Wow, you see how awesome that he is. That, that's it, guys. People can't afford $99. They just choose not to because they'd rather go drinking and partying and things like that. So it's very simple, guys. When you guys are ready, you will join. I'm not here to force anybody to join. I'm not. When people are ready, they will do it. Okay? They will find a way to do it. The entry point is $99. It's not that much money if you are living in the United States or Canada or Europe. I understand if it's in like a third world country, but if you're in a third world country, to be honest, it's very hard to trade with $20. You know, it's very difficult. You have to figure a way to do it. You need money to make money. I mean, the minimum, I mean, I've seen people start with $700, $1,000, but, but you would have to be very disciplined. And you know, but you can't be starting with $20. So if you can't afford $99, then uh, to be honest, you, got, you, you should use that money to provide for your family or get another job. You know, that's just the honest truth, guys. But that's the thing. If you're in America, I've, this is why we're going to turn off the $99 monthly thing, guys. Because to be honest, man, I've, I'm, I'm kind of sick of it. Because those are the people that are, that are causing all the, the trouble. You know, it's, it's, it's just a point. It's a price point where it's just too cheap. Where you have guys that don't value it and all that stuff. So, But, you know, we will keep exceptions. Um. Uh, we're just trying to think because right now it's just, it's not working out, to be honest. I, I am stressed every day. I want to help you guys, but I'd rather help a smaller community than a, a big one. You know what I'm saying? So we, we might turn off the $99 monthly thing. And if you want to uh, alerts, we're going to create a cheap alerts and you, you lose all your money going. <laughs> you know? um, but if, if you have one person that wants to come on, I'll bring one last person on. Anything you want, man. I'll bring on a, actually a, a, a troll or anybody. I don't really care. Hey guys, you can talk to me, you can talk to Alex, you can DM us. I mean, fuck, dude. These, these guys are charging you $500 an hour to talk to them. I mean, this is fucking ridiculous, dude. Where can the fuck can you talk to me for 99 bucks a month? My point is, I'm not here to fucking make money off your $99. Seriously, I'd rather not fucking answer your PM, to be honest. But you know what, man? Every time I get pissed off, there's 10 guys that, that DM me and thank me and say, Val, thank you for helping me, changing my life. All right, I'm going to bring out Julio. Julio. Who keeps posting these flags? I, I don't get it. Oh, camera's back. What? Hey, what's up, my friend? Julio. What's up, man? Hey, tell everybody who you are, where How's you're from, all that good stuff. The first time I talk. Uh, I'm from, from Sacramento. Um... My name is Julio. I'm in my investing club. I just joined. Uh, my first month was last month. Hey, what's your name in, I'm actually, uh, the, uh, your name in the club? I, uh, I'm from Sacramento. My name's. Uh, I go by Jay. Jay? Okay. Yeah. I'm actually an uh, electrician right here at work. <laughs> what do you do, man? Fucking. Um, the like warehouse? Yeah, man. I just want to. Uh, it's a Planet Fitness that we're doing. Oh, shit. You're building 
Yeah, how's it going, man? A... So how's it going in the club? Yeah, it's what are go- uh, it's it's going, man. Right uh, at the moment, I'm just studying. Um, I recently just blew up. I had a 5K count and blew it up, and oh, it took shit. me like. Yeah, I, I blew it up in like nine months. I started trading in December, and, you know, started watching YouTube videos, and I dabbled around with options, and options is what really blew me up, really. Yeah, that's, but, that's, before, that's before us, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was before I found you guys, and then once I found you guys, um, you know, my my thought process, and I've actually planned trades and shit like that, you know, and I'm learning how to swing because uh, I work a full-time job, so... Those swinger guys are good, man. Claudio and, and Oren, all those guys, right? Yeah, I've been watching Joe Kelly's webinars and stuff like that and past webinars about swing trading and a, a little bit of options as well because I, I was dabbling in and out with them and stuff like that. That way I can understand kind of what I was doing. But other than that, um, hey, yeah, honestly, I, 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 this is, I love it. This is better than going to college, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, de- de- definitely, yeah. And you know what, man? It's cheaper. It's hell a lot cheaper. <laughs> yeah, that's that, that's for sure. But so that's uh, a, an alternative for people like yourself that you know that, that not everybody made for college, right? And so, but I tell you something, man. You you see it every day. People, if you put in the work and the discipline, it works. The problem you have is you're gambling, right? That's why you're blowing up. Yes, sir. So that was my problem. I want I wanted too much too quick you know that's what that's what the issue was it was i wanted too much too quick i didn't know i was making like 100 200 bucks a day but that wasn't enough for me for some reason you know what i mean yeah that was that was my biggest mistake where it was like all right well i'm gonna push it now and i pushed it and i just minus 700 and i was like wow that's the biggest baddest that's bigger than any gain i've ever had let me ask you you know you work you work a full day eight hours how much do you make at your job uh 30 an hour so how much is that a day? Like two hundred and forty bucks? Uh, around there, yeah. And so making two hundred dollars in one hour sitting on your butt is not good enough. <laughs> yeah, it, it wasn't good enough for some reason. You know what I mean? <laughs> and um, I I realized that that was like the stupidest thing ever because it was like, dude, I probably like will wake up at you know four four thirty, get ready for the stock market at six thirty because I live here in Sacramento, so. And then by seven, I had already made like a hundred, two hundred bucks, and for some reason that wasn't enough. But now looking back, I'm like, dude, that was fucking, that was good. That was actually really good for half an hour, an hour of just sitting on your computer and in my pajamas and stuff like that, you know. So let me tell you something, man. That you know what? It's it's an it's an unfortunate thing, but even myself, everybody, even Alex, everyone's blown up because we never we never appreciated it until we we hit that rock bottom kind of shit, right? So, yeah. So now you understand. So this is this is my challenge to you, my friend. Learn and just to make fifty dollars a day, hundred dollars a day. If you can consistently do that, man, you can slowly make more. But it adds up fast, bro. You know, you when you see that cash start growing, you know, you follow our directions, max daily loss, stop losses, things like that. Man, yep. I'm telling you, man, it adds up fast. Cause if if you were making hundred bucks, two hundred bucks before, you can do it, man. You just need to learn how to cut off the gambling part, right? Yeah, exactly, man. I, I and it. I was part of that like COVID little thing where December, January, February. So I grew my little two thousand two thousand dollar account to like ten k, and I thought it was easy. I was like, man, this is easy. I should have been doing this. You know what I mean? And that's what kind of gave me that confidence, those extra um, that extra push for me to be like, all right, bet I could do this. I can make maybe a five six hundred dollars in a day, which was the <laughs> biggest mistake. But now, now I'm like, okay, I need to take it easy. I need to learn how to make, you know, twenty bucks a day uh, for months, and then slowly start making a hundred bucks a day for months, and then two hundred bucks a day. You know, I want to grow increments uh, at a time. That way, next thing I know, I'm back at five k, and then eventually seven k yep. and ten k and stuff like that. You know, but uh, if let me tell you. If you, if you want to make 500, you got to be ready to lose $1,000, my friend. <laughs> yeah. So whatever you want to make, you have to be ready to lose two times that. I'm telling you right now. So for those that are listening, this is a good rule. If you make if you want to make 200 bucks a day, you better be ready to lose 400 because you are going to set your max daily loss to maybe one or two times your, your average, right? Mm-hmm. And so that's the thing, man. It doesn't take – so if you lose three three times in a row – 
I don't want you to lose all your money, right? So you have yeah. to be smart. You have to be smart. It's the risk reward, right? So if you if you want to make fifty bucks, you better be ready to lose a hundred dollars. So start there because what happens is when you start collecting 100, 50, 100, 50, it adds up fast, man. Yes, sir. And then you you have the max daily loss put in the top loss, and you're not gonna blow up. Yeah, what, I've, what I've, get- I've actually, when I first started trading, I was like, I don't need a stop loss. You know, I have a mental loss. But that was like probably like the dumbest thing because I would supposedly have a mental loss. And then when the thing would hit my wrist, I would be like, no, nah, it, it's going to bounce. And then it wouldn't <laughs> bounce and I would take a bigger loss. And it was like, and now like the past month uh, that I've been studying with you guys and, and, you know, getting my mindset straight, after, especially after blowing up because it was a an emotional thing i was like okay well now i'm gonna set stop losses and you know i just i'll just let the trade go and um i'll walk off my computer and then or my phone because i've been trading from my phone lately and i'll just hear it either hit my profit target or i'll hear it hit my stop loss without me getting having that emotional part connected to it you know what i mean so it's helped a lot i like stop losses and uh, um you don't want to get better with like OCO brackets and stuff yeah. like that, that I've learned that way. I don't actually have to be there to there take go. my gains or to take my, my L, you know? Start Exactly. Start practicing with the bracket, the OCO, the trigger, because what's going to happen is it's OCO is one, one triggers the other. So what's going to happen is you either hit your stop loss or you hit your profit and it cancels. Yeah. Down. Perfect, bro. You got bad. I love it. I, that means that you're watching the fucking videos, bro. I love it. Yeah, you I'm try, just just trying man. to just trying to learn as much as I can and trying to get my mindset right. Like I said, uh, at the 5K is a lot for me, and I know it might not be a lot for you or anybody else, but it was a uh, it was a lot for me, and uh, I just want to be able to grow my account and uh, you know someday be like you. Hey, man, I appreciate you coming. I, I know I need to take it one step at a time. I know good things take hey, time, you know. And I, I, I give so uh, hit up hit up, hit up Oliver. Oliver, I'll give you $100 of the MIC swag, whatever, T-shirts or whatever the hell you want, bro. All right, man? That way you, you fucking have these right work part. You fucking keep thinking. Like, dude, this this is your college, man. You know, this this is how you're going to make your future. I love what you're hearing. I love what I'm hearing. Stop losses. OCO orders. Those, that's the reason why I'm investing in you now, man. Bro, hit up Oliver. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swag you out so that at least, like, you know, man, you, when you're working, at least you feel like, you know, you're part of the community, you know? Right on. Appreciate you. All right, brother. Thanks for coming on, man. I love it, man. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Later. All right, man. All right, guys. Oliver, thank you, man. I I love ending on a positive note. So that, I mean, I can't get it better than that, guys. He's working his butt off. And, you know, man, it sucks that people have to blow up. But sometimes we're human beings. We have to get kicked in the balls like five times. You know, it's like when you're a kid, you put your hand on the stove, you don't believe it's hot, you got to touch it again. <laughs> right? You got to keep doing it until fucking your hand's blown. So, guys, keep at it, guys. This has been fucking amazing, man. Thank you, Julio. Thank you, man. I fucking appreciate you, brother. This is why I keep doing what I'm doing. These bots pissing me off, but all it takes is one guy like Julio to make me fucking realize it's fucking worth it, man. We're here to change the world and help everybody.